Sure. Hey, Derek, uh, I'm, I'm just curious for you, how much more room do you think there is for you to, to uh, improve as a pass catcher and how big or small an emphasis is that for you in training camp? Uh, thanks. I just want to improve my game in all aspects. I mean, that's always going to be the goal each and every year, so that'll never change. Uh, Teresa? Derek, a year ago, we knew that uh, Taylor was going to be ha have to sit out a four-game suspension to start the year, uh, but the line was playing so much better there toward the end of the season. How much uh, chance is there, do you think, of you all picking up a little bit closer to the way you all ended last season than opposed to a year ago when Roger was new and, and Dennis was having to fill in for Taylor? I think we're all just excited to be back together, be back to work, and um, you know, getting things rolling. Um, and, you know, just taking it uh, a day at a time until we're able to get out there and put pads on and compete against each other. And, um, you know, just keep building momentum forward as we get better each and every day by competing with, uh, through, uh, with, with one another uh, throughout this camp. Just to follow up, how big were some of the holes they were creating there uh, in late December and into January? Um, those guys uh, did a great job. Um, and um, uh, they continue to do a great job and, uh, you know, just main focus is us to getting better while we're here. Uh, Jim Wyatt. Derek, you've worked with a number of backs since you've been in the league. I guess Darrington Evans, the latest. What do you like about him, and what do you think a guy like that could bring uh, to the offense? Um, you know, he's uh, – uh, obviously, he's a rookie. Um you know, he's intelligent, he's smart, um, very attention to detail, um, you know, when he's in meetings and, you know, carrying over to, you know, walkthroughs and things like that. And, you know, each every day, each and every day, you know, you just want to grow as a player and, you know, I'm, I'm here to help him. I'm excited for his opportunities. I can't hear you. Hey, Derek, could you scoot up just a hair? I'm having a hard time hearing you. Um, yeah. Uh, Buck, next question for Buck. Hey, Derek, appreciate you doing this. Where specifically do you think Ryan Tannehill makes you better as a player? Say it again? Where specifically do you think Ryan Tannehill makes you better as a player? I don't really – I mean, I haven't really thought about that. I haven't really looked at that. We just, you know, try to play good collectively and, you know, do what we are coach and, you know, go out there and play at the highest level that we can. And, you know, and just, you know, feed off one another, not really, you know, looking at that aspect, you know, as far as with, with my game, but just, you know, us helping each other collectively and going out there being explosive and making plays as an offense as a whole. Uh, Teron? So, Derek, as far as uh, running the ball and, and having pretty much the same group of offensive linemen back, how important is that for you as a runner, and how can you take advantage of that continuity? Can you say that one more time? I said having the same group, well, pretty much the same group of offensive linemen back, you know, that continuity, how important is that for you as a runner, and how can you guys take advantage of that? Um, I mean – I think we all know each other very well, that we all know what type of player we all are. And like I said, you know, it's us just working collectively, being tied in all together and what we're doing. And just going out there, you know, playing at the highest level that we can play. You know, we, we all know it starts, you know, right now with us, you know, competing and getting better. And I think that's just been the main focus. But I think we all know what we all bring to the table. Uh, Paul Kaharski. Hey, Derek. Um, I was wondering, we saw videos during the offseason, obviously, of your workout stuff, which is something to behold. Uh, do you think it, running backs around the league are doing stuff like you're doing, or are you striving to find stuff that, that's uh, way beyond and different than, than everybody else? Oh, yeah, I couldn't really speak on, you know, any other running backs, but I'm just doing what I do and, you know, me training, um, staying in shape, getting my body stronger, you know, just getting prepared to 
get ready for camp. So that's what I always do every offseason. How often are you are, are your guys coming up with new and different stuff for you that maybe keeps it interesting or or finds different ways to get to to different body parts? You know, um, the guy I train with, Melvin Sanders. You know, he's he's a guy that always looking at different things that I can do to help my body, help myself get better. And, and with working out, uh, either running, doing cardio, everything like that, and also recovery. So you know, he's a great trainer, and um, I've been using them three years straight. So all the ideas he come up with, you know, I just try to go out there and do them the best way I can, and um, it's been working for me. So. Uh, David Beauclair. Hey, Derek, you didn't play at all in the preseason last year. For guys who are, are used to playing in it but won't have a preseason this year, you you, you think they're going to miss it, or do you, you think a lot of veteran guys will probably be better off for not having it? Uh, I'm sure some guys love the preseason to get the uh, the kinks out and, and things like that, and some guys, you know, probably don't really don't really matter to them. But, I mean, this you can go either way with it. Um, but I think that we all just have to adjust to, you know, the different circumstances and um, do the best we can to get ready for the season. Do you think it was a benefit to you last year in any way to not play in the preseason? Um, uh, I mean, if I had to play, I would have played. I mean, it's football. You know, I love competing. And, um, you know, it's a chance to go against another team because we in camp going against each other, you know, for – weeks straight, so it's always fun to go against another jersey. Uh, Terry McCormick? Derek, you got a rushing title and a contract extension. In your mind, what's the next step for you in your career? Get better every day. Continue to get better. Continue to try to elevate my game. Each time I step on the field in meetings, um, and that's all, that always be my focus. Uh, John Glennon. Hey, Derek. I wanted to follow up on the uh, on the drills that you do during the, uh, the off season. Some of those conditioning things. Are there maybe uh, a couple of uh, maybe some interesting drills that that you can talk about what you do and and what the uh, what the aim of them is? Uh, we're just doing drills, just condition. Um, open up my lungs, make sure I'm in shape, and that's really you know. Really focal point is making my make sure my body in shape. Um, I love working out. Um, just love working in general. So that's just me, just, just being me. Sure. I, I guess uh, I remember seeing one in particular where you were you were going up a a, a hill. Um, maybe can you just sort of uh, uh, go through that a little bit? You know, and and some of the things that were involved in in that specific drill. Oh uh, yeah. Um, I've been uh, trying to look to do some hill work, trying to find a, a good hill, steep hill, and, um, you know, find one when I was in tra training in Dallas. And, you know, I just wanted to, you know, get some get some hill work and, you know, really get, see how far conditioned I was. And, you know, um, it was really some good work, you know, got to work with uh, the guys I was training with. Um, got some guys to uh, video some of the workouts for me. And, um, you know, and I liked it. So, you know, I kept trying to do it as much as I could when I had the time. Uh, Kayla? Hey, Derek. Uh, we saw the picture today. Did you get Taylor would want some new shoes, perhaps? Uh, well, I, uh, I had them since, I think, uh, last year. And um, I don't know why I just kept forgetting them because I guess they weren't in my uh, – <laughs> And like under the closet in uh, one of my drawers and never really got them to him. I was supposed to give them to him last year and I finally was able to give it to him this year. So that was that was way overdue. I'm finally he I'm glad he finally got them and he likes them. How much do you enjoy kind you seem like the kind of guy who likes to to give some gifts sometimes, especially to your O line. I mean, you guys have built such a bond. How has that developed over the past few years, especially with Taylor? Yeah, I'm always a Appreciative of my teammates, um, guys that work hard, guys that come to work every day and do what they need to do. And, um, you know, it's always good to have a great relationship with your teammates, especially O line, especially guys that block for you. You know, and I'm, I'm grateful for all those guys. 
All right, we got time for uh, two more, uh, Jim. Derek, what, can you describe maybe what the process was like on getting on the same page with Kari Blossom game last year in the middle of the season? How did you think that went, and how, how do you think he helps in uh, maybe the offense's ability to go? Well, mate, I think uh, Kari did a great job, you know, coming in um, the way he did and just picking up the offense very quickly. And um, he helped us tremendously, you know, obviously when he when he came in and um, just looking forward to – him building off the things that he learned and, you know, him getting better as a player, like him as a teammate, glad he's in our room, and glad he's in front of me blocking. Uh, Buck? Uh, Derek, if I could change gears with you, given I don't know how closely you're following everything that's going along in the world of college football right now with them trying to figure stuff out, but is there any v advice that you would have for college football players who are trying to decide – how to handle the upcoming season? Um, I think they just have to uh, do what's best for them, what makes sense for them in their situation, you know, for them and their families. You know, it's a, a crazy time for everybody right now, you know, across the world. So, you know, it's really, you know, what makes sense for you and what's the best situation possible for you and your future. Oh, well,